Right, I'm just gonna show you around the bathroom so you can see what it looks like currently. Okay, so over here by the window, we have a roll top bath with the freestanding tap as well. Hello. And over here we have the sink with storage unit underneath. I'm gonna show you because this is all part of the makeover because it is disgraceful how not organized this is. Up here, hello, we have um, a mirrored cabinet, which again, disgracefully organized inside. And I've still got the Argos sticker inside as well. I would like to change this because this is just, I don't know, not good. Over here, we have the shower, which as you can see is like built in. So we had this built by the guy that did our bathroom the first time round. And I love it, it's great. It's got these sort of gray textured effect tiles. The shower is awesome, it's like a waterfall shower, but then we also have this like handheld attachment as well. Shower is great, it's really roomy. Over here, rather shabbily, we have no toilet roll holder, so the toilet roll lives there. This is my Epic Fragrance Perfume Collection, which I would like, again, to relocate somewhere. And then up here, we've got more storage with another unit with three separate compartments. Over this side, we have um, just one of those IKEA cube units, and this is where we keep our towels rolled up, loo roll on the bottom, and some bath mats. Up here, um, some of my favourite Rituals products, which I love. Rituals is one of my favourite brands for like bath time. Cotton wool pads. And then here is a really old and disgusting um, laundry basket, which we need to change because if you can see, there are marks all over it. This needs to go in the bin. So we want to tile everywhere that is not currently tiled. So take off the wallpaper, tile this entire wall, tile all this area here, everywhere, all up here, all here, 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 all around the window, window frame, tile everywhere. Right, so number one on the list is finding some tiles. So we're just about to head off to Tops Tiles to investigate and see if we can find some that we like. All right, here we are, Tops Tiles. Let's have a look. Oh my god, how nice are they? Oh look at these, these are like wood. How nice is this? Marble ones. Mm. They're floor? Yeah, I know, but... All, all walls, I said. Oh, all wall. Floor, all wall. All our stuff is white, black or gold, so mm. brown to go with it. You don't need brown. That's what the picture says. No, you don't the need says it brown. Goes brown. No. And I like these. I'm just looking at all the pictures. Oh, he's, oh, he's gone. Well, I'll speak to you guys then. I like these, how they're laid like that. These are nice, but you won't like them. <laughs> these are nice, but I won't like them. Do you know what they look like? These remind me of those tiles that you have waterfalls over. Mmm, they look nice in the Mmm. See, oh, how jazzy does that look? With like the copper, yeah. copper basin. I love looking at the pictures. Look at how cool these tiles are. I don't like this colour, but this, black and white, there, I like it. This is nice, this is very clean. Can't have that. Why not? Brown furniture. It doesn't matter about brown furniture. Look this. This is what I like. With the dark grey grout. So like a basic tile. Mm -hmm. with dark grout look. Bigger than those. Bigger than them, yeah. yeah. Like that size. How do you know what size that is? Look, you can gauge next to the size of the tap. Might be a tiny tap. <laughs> These ones are a little bit bigger, aren't they? Those ones. But you can do different colour grout. You want white, one of these. Look, matte. This one's a matte. Yeah. 
and you can you don't have to have them in that pattern you can have them like in the picture that i just saw right apparently there is an inspiration station that we can go and have a look at cool so these are the different grades they are yeah the different grades yeah, definitely the grey grade you were going for can't decide on which grey now that i have five different options because <laughs> we've got a dark slate floor I feel like that much block white might just be a bit much. Yeah, yeah do you want to submit? Do you really like the hair in the back? Or you can have it fricked just like this. Do you like this? Yeah. I think I quite like the vertical ones. Okay. <laughs> I know I don't have a choice, but... No. Yeah, that's kind of what it would look like if you did a vertical tile with a grey grout. Mm. That's quite the choice. <laughs> we do the white trims with the blending. Yeah, if you keep it the same as the grout, oh, I think it'll look alright. Oh! Give you that kind of finish. Yeah, and that'd be similar to the grout then, wouldn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. Right, fully laden with samples, and they've kindly given us some tiles as well so that we can um, practice like laying patterns and stuff and see if they look good with the existing. Trip. Right, so these are the three cards that the guy in Tops Towels gave us. So I'm just going to ring through these now and see if they will come and give us a quote and measure up properly. Did you hear that? That's not an answer. What is the matter with these people? You're not very good at this, are you? It hung up, but it didn't give me a chance to leave a message. All you had to do was call someone to get them to come and do a quote. Hi, uh, um, I was given your details by Tops Tiles. So I was just wondering if you might be able to give us a quote or come round and give us a quote. Holy moly. Okay. Um, yeah, we'd probably be looking to get it done before the end of August. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. It's a good colour match. Mm. Isn't it? Oh. I'll just leave it like that and let that shine through. Do you like that one? But they, yeah, but then I think I do prefer the idea. I feel like that does look quite kitcheny, so I do think I prefer this way. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this very well, am I? You prefer that one? I think that looks oh, more bathroom, don't you? Right, so I'm going to email this one now and hope that they get back to me and have some availability. Um, if no luck with that, I'm also going to ring this one again tomorrow. If no luck there, I suppose we'll just do a bit of investigating ourselves. Layout wise, I think I'm a little bit drawn. I think I'm a little bit more drawn to the vertical because like the guy said, the horizontal ones look a bit kitcheny and the vertical looks a little bit different. Right, okay, so we've picked the Tyler. He's coming on Monday. Today is now Wednesday and we are stripping this wall. If you remember, it was the one that had all the stripy wallpaper on. We're stripping this because we're having this skimmed by a plasterer tomorrow and a couple of other little dodgy areas in the bathroom just so that the tiles have got something solid to grip onto and so that it's nice and smooth and even because this house is so old. Nothing is even. Doing a good job there. At least one of us is building up a sweat, eh? I like the way you said we in that uh, little frame there and you've not actually done anything yet. I did the wetting. I wet the wall with, with the sponge. Earlier. <laughs> right okay so the wallpaper has all been stripped ready for the plasterer tomorrow and the tiles are coming tomorrow as well so that's good because we'll be in and the only thing I don't like about this stage is that the work and the makeover has started which means that we're living in part mess for like a week or so. So at this point now, I just can't wait for this to be finished. But it's the first stage, so happy days. Right, okay, this 
is the state of play. Plaster has been in today and skimmed this whole wall. So that's looking good. And then also over here, where there was like a really old bit of skirting board, that has also been done. So we are all ready now for the tiles to be fitted on Monday. Right, okay, the tiles have just arrived and the boxes look a bit heavy, so I think I'm gonna let Simon move them. And as you can see, the plaster is drying nicely. This is the current messy state of the bathroom. I've actually got a family barbecue today, so uh, I'm doing some cleaning. But as you can see, all of this is prepared and ready. Now we've just got to wait for Monday when the Tyler comes. Right, okay, we have just finished clearing out all the crap in the bathroom. So up here, all of the wall units, the cabinets have gone. We've moved the bath to over here just so that the guy can work throughout the day. Um, and we've peeled off some of the paint, which you can see all around here. It's bathroom paint and so it peels off really easily. Um, so he just asked us to do that in preparation for when he comes tomorrow for any loose bits and we've also taken off it, these kind of tiles were up on here as a surround and we figured it would just be best to go all the way down with the white tiles so yeah exciting hopefully this mess won't last too much longer because I've had enough now right it is the end of day one and look at this, it's looking awesome. So we've got this whole wall done. I say we, the Tyler, um, apart from this bit up here, which obviously he does at the end, but they're looking so good. I can't wait to see it with the grout in. Uh, and then over this wall, we've got all this section in here. That's looking grand. Yeah, really, really happy with it. I cannot wait to see what it looks like finished. So excited. Right, I'm just gonna have a look at day two's progress because I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Oh! Oh! Wow, we've got tiles over there, tiles up here, <gasps> tiles over here. Awesome, love it. That's where our extractor fan's gonna go. Love it. Boris out you come please. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, day three result. Look at all this. So much tiling done. Oh, hello Bo. Yes, hello. So we've got all this section done here. Just got to have this bit done. Literally, that's all that's left. That bit there, this bit here, and this side here. So looking good the tyler has just left he's just finished so this has been completed look we are tiled the extractor fan is going in there the electrician's here now just doing the light on the landing but look even i am not surprised but just well chuffed with how this has turned out because this was my choice of tile this is how this has turned out on the edging around the window. Oh, and then this little bit over here to cover these crappy bits, which we couldn't do on this unit. So never mind. That's what we did along there. So that looks way better. And now it's time for us to put all of our finishing touches in here, all the mirrors and plants and accessories and stuff. Uh, obviously we're gonna have to clean the floor massively. As you can see, we have now finished the bathroom. I've got no makeup on, my hair's a mess, but I wanted to film it like this because we have literally just finished doing all of the little finishing touches. And this is what someone looks like for real when you've just finished doing some DIY. So the tiles, I am so happy with. They look 
awesome. We spent a couple of hours just really cleaning them this morning. I'm so pleased, like they look exactly how, no they don't, they look better than what I expected them to look. Um, so these were the linear tiles from Tops Tiles in white matte and we went for this grey grout and the colour of this grout is called cement and I think it goes perfectly with the colour of the ceiling which we're going to leave as it is and also the dark slate floor and our other tiles over in the shower as well. Um, finishing touches wise, um, this is a big mirror which I bought from Ikea. Also from Ikea is this chest of drawers which I now have all of my beauty products in, all neatly organised which is literally my dream. And then towels are in the bottom, a couple of little trinkety bits over here and then we have our giant palm plant which was never going anywhere, I had to get this back in the bathroom. We've got a new laundry bag which I bought from H&M, it's just like a canvas one. And then over here on the windowsill we've got a couple of succulents, they were from Ikea and the pots were from H&M. And then in the middle here we've got um, a little tray which I sprayed black, it was in silver. That one's from H&M Home with some H&M products on it. These glass shelves are from Ikea and then we've just got some of our like, most used beauty products on there. This is a Monstera plant which I bought from Ikea as well. Another round mirror over here by the sink and if you remember we used to have a cabinet there and I just prefer the mirror, I think it looks a lot cleaner and more streamlined. And then sink is the same, I just changed the doorknobs on the little unit underneath the sink there. And then over here, this is probably like my favourite little area, this is our fragrance wall. So the top three shelves are mine and the bottom one is Simon's and those are all of our fragrances and I just wanted to have them all out on display. And then we finally got a toilet roll holder, which is a novelty because we haven't actually had one in about three years. And yeah, <sighs> knackered, but so worth it. So happy with the tiles, they look wicked. Just makes the whole room look so much brighter as well. So it's safe to say this project has got a massive thumbs up from me and thank you so much for watching. Of course, as always, you can subscribe to my channel and catch up on any of my other videos and I will see you guys next time. Thanks, bye!